Well, good morning. Happy Wednesday and welcome to our Apps for Early Learning webinar. I am Laura Martinez, the Assistive Technology Program Manager at TASC. Good morning, I'm Elizabeth Ortega, Assistive Technology Coordinator at TASC. TASC is a nonprofit. We serve six counties in Southern California. We are a parent training and information center and a family empowerment center. We educate and empower people with disabilities and their families to become effective communicators and self-advocates. Our disclaimer, task staff are not advocates or attorneys. We do not provide recommendations, legal advice, or suggestions. Our family support specialists offer peer-to-peer -peer support, information, and options to parents of children with disabilities so they can become informed members of the IEP team and work collaboratively with schools. Our family support specialists help families understand the special education process by providing one-on-one -on -one phone consultations, virtual IEP consultations, and review of documentations, um, assistance with letter writing. They offer a variety of educational webinars, support for military families, information, and resources. Within our tech center, we offer a variety of assistive technology webinars individualized online lab appointments via Zoom if you're looking for specific apps for your students or your children, websites or Chrome section extensions. Um, we can schedule an appointment. Um, we can show you the apps that we have in the areas that you're looking for or if any websites that we know of. We also offer assistive technology consultations in clinics. For our AAC services, AAC is Augmentative and Alternative Communication. Project Communicate. Um, within Project Communicate, we offer a free one-hour AAC consultation with our contracted speech-language pathologist. We also have Let's Talk AAC, which is our professional development series of four webinars, of which all four are, which they are um, available on our YouTube channel. Tech Connection is our online social and life skill groups for ages 14 and above. And we have a lot of information and resources in assistive technology. Tech Tidbits is our monthly assistive technology focused e newsletter. If you would like to receive it, please visit the website listed on the slide, plug in your name, email address, and you'll start receiving it the following month. And before we begin, Keep in mind that app prices listed are subject to change by vendors. Prices vary. They can vary. You will have access to the handout. I will email you the handout after the presentation. I will email it to the email address you use to register to attend today's, to today's webinar. Each slide will have links. For each of the apps, it will either take you to the vendor's website or directly to the app store. All the apps that Laura is going to demonstrate are available for iDevices, iPad, iPhone. If they're available on another pl platform, it will be indicated on the slide. And once again, if you're looking for specific apps for your children or your clients, feel free to email Laura or myself and we'll be able to assist you. Yep, yep. Okay, whoops, sorry about that. My iPad is very touchy this morning. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to point out a feature in case you don't know about it um, that is built in on your iPad and your iPhone. Uh, it's called Guided Access. And we found it to be very helpful for young children and um, folks who don't want to stay in a specific app. And by turning on guided access, you're able to lock someone into an app. So um, I put the directions there. And of course, when you receive the handout, you'll get the directions. But I'll show you really quickly. So you go to your settings.
and you scroll down to accessibility. And then down um, toward the bottom under general, it says guided access. And if you turn that on, you're able to set a passcode that only you know <laughs> to get out, or you can um, use Touch ID if you want to use your fingerprint to be able to get out. And um, So you can set your passcode settings. You can also set time limits and set an alarm. So maybe if you want somebody to only be on an app, maybe it's a, a game type app, maybe for five minutes or 10 minutes, that'll go off and then they're done. You can set what's called an accessibility shortcut. You turn that on and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go into an app in a minute and show you how guided access works. But the first app that I want to show you um, has a little glitch on um, whenever we uh, show it through Zoom, the sound doesn't work. And that's Peekaboo Barn. It's a great app and it works perfectly unless you're presenting through Zoom. Um, so I did want to show it to you. There are, um, it's available on iOS and Amazon. It is, uh, there's a free version or $1.99 for the full version. And then there's a four app bundle, um, which includes Peekaboo Barn, Peekaboo Forest, Peekaboo Wild, and Peekaboo Presents. And you can download that whole bundle for $5.99. Um, I went ahead and just recorded a clip, a screen recording, so that I could show you the app with sound. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. Pick a boo one. So one of the cool things about Peekaboo Barn is that you can set um, different, you know, touch effects, the voice, different things on and off. And there are all different languages that you can set it as. You can set it as an adult, a child, um, even record your own language, which is great. So when it comes on, Cat. you'll see a little movement when you touch on the barn doors. Duck. It opens and just different random farm animals come out. I recorded just a few. Horse. Turkey. So that's a great little app that you can um, use for cause and effect, learn, you know, the animal names and things. But again, you can record your own voice if you wanted to add. Um, either a different language or if you wanted to have maybe the child practicing the names. So um, it does a lot for a small price. Uh, the next one is called Baby's Musical Hands. And I'm going to open that app. And what this app does, it's basically cause and effect. Whatever I touch, we get different instruments. If 
I wanted my child to stay within this app, since I've turned on guided access, I'm going to triple click my home button, which is the round button at the side or at the bottom of your iPad. I'm going to hit it three times. And then, I don't know if you can see, it's really tiny. So circle areas on the screen you would like to disable. So uh, a lot of times you want to disable them to be able to get out. Um, for this one, there's not really a... So now we're in. can play within it if I hit the home button because I know that's how to get out it's not going to let me so I'm going to have to triple click to get out and then I'm going to have to enter the passcode that I created in order to get out of that app I hope that makes sense if you have questions please feel free to reach out to us and we can walk you through it um, during a lab, but guided access will work on any any app. So moving on, um, sound touch. So sound touch are flashcards basically with different animals. And what I like about them is when you press whatever animal you choose, um, say you press the duck, the pictures change because not all ducks look alike, right? And Sound Touch is available on iOS and Android. There's a free version that does have ads. And then the full lifetime upgrade is $4.99. They also have something called Sound Touch 2, which has different uh, categories added. And I'll show you Sound Touch and the different categories. Okay, so um, at the bottom are the different categories. So each page has different things, but I wanted to show you that whatever you choose, if I hit the cat again, a different kitty's gonna come. So great for learning animals, animal sounds. So at the bottom, I switch to more exotic animals. Uh. Then there are different birds, vehicles. Uh, musical instruments. And then things around the house. So that's Sound Touch. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat and we'll address them as we go. If you have specific questions about something in particular for your child, please go ahead and email us and we'd be glad to help you individually as well. 
So next, I'm going to talk a little bit about alphabet apps. There are so many great ones out there. I just want to give you a kind of an idea of the types of apps that are out there. Um, we have over 3,300 iOS apps, so it's hard to choose, um, but we try to share ones that are helpful and affordable. So alphabet apps. Before we start on alphabet apps, I always just like to remind people or let people know that when you're um, practicing writing on an iPad, you know, it's easy to write with your finger, but we really want our kiddos, if they can, to be able to develop that, that writing grasp. So I usually recommend that they use um, a stylus um, so that they can learn that correct um, grasp. So when using al things that you trace or you draw, using a stylus is a a good idea if you have one. Um, the best place, the easiest way to find different ones is uh, through Amazon. You can Google or go through Amazon and there are so many different types depending on your child's need. So I just have a regular pen stylus here, but um, I just wanted to point that out. The first app is ABC Kids Tracing and Phonics, and this vendor, RV Studios, is phenomenal. Uh, Liz stumbled across them. Gosh, it's been quite a while now, but all of their apps are wonderful. They're all free, and there are no ads, which is a huge, huge help. Um, and there are so much to all of their apps. So this is just one of many, but I wanted to show you this one because it has some great skills in it. Um, it's available on so many platforms, iOS, Google Play, Amazon, Galaxy, Mac, and then also the Microsoft Store. So it's ABC Kids Tracing and Phonics. Hi! Lucas. Hi, I'm Ruby. And we're Lucas and Friends. Okay, so I like to start by going into the settings. And at the top here, if you go into settings, you can um, customize. Do you want to do uppercase? lowercase? Do you want them to show a model before they do it? Do you want um, them to be able to stop? So there's different things um, that you can turn on and off. There's teaching mode. Phonics when letter tracing. Do you want it to say the, the phonics sound or the letter sound? You can turn on or off background music. I have mine off. Uh, same with the sound. And then if you register your child, um, which is free, there's a report card that you can go through and see how they did. And anyway, there's all kinds of things that you can do. I do turn on um, hide more apps button and hide our story and hide the shop button. Um, so that it's not there. And then you can turn on or off the character intro where they just said hi and said their names. You can turn that on or off. Uh, they have a shop and a YouTube channel, but I like worksheets. They have coloring pages and worksheets that you can download for free. And then they have more on their Pinterest page. So this is what the app looks like when you open it. And there are all these different activities that you can do. So I'll just start at the beginning. Hi, I'm select letter. So I have capitals selected, but you could do lowercase as well. You can select whatever letter you want. S. So now I can trace with my finger or I can take a stylus. S I like the 
them because they're large so that you can get used to that motor. Yes! Move on to the next letter or go out. T. It does do an illustration. Ta, ta, ta. Good job! Amazing! T. To get out of an activity, there's this, uh, an X at the top. You do have to T. hold down and drag it in order to get out. Select letter. I'm just going to quickly show you some of the other activities. Select letter. So here's our lowercase. F. Well done. Amazing. F. Select letter. So now I can choose upper or lowercase. Touch letter Z. Z is for zebra. Touch letter D. D is for dog. This one's matching. Match the same letter. This one's matching upper to lowercase. M. M. Or vice versa if you do it wrong. H. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the activities look like. Match the same letter. Tap the card. G. No, 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 no. V. V. So there's a matching game. Just trying to find where it says Liz, aren't some of these in other languages? Hi, I'm Lucas. Where'd she go? She must be muted. Um, touch and write. So this one is interesting. So this one is um, kind of simulates working with an OT. And it provides different writing textures and backgrounds for you to practice your uh, alphabet on or your words, depending on. This one is phonics, so it just depends. But um, it's available for iOS and it's $2.99. And it's by Fizzbrain. So again, touch and write. Touch and write. So you can go through and choose. So this is the app family, at rat, rat.
your own list of words, which is great. Okay, so when we go in, I can choose the pencil here. And these are all the different things that I can write with. So shaving cream, frosting, whipped cream, ketchup, you know, chalk, whatever you want to. So I'm gonna pick whipped cream because that sounds fun. And then these are all the different backgrounds that you can make the paper. So if you wanted to write in sand or on corn, I like these different paper options. You can turn on and off these little cupcakes. They're kind of hints for the monster to follow. Cuh. And what I like about this app is, I don't know if you noticed, but when you, whatever you draw a letter, it actually comes out ah. the exact way you draw it. Whoops. Puh. Puh. Ah. Puh. Cap. And then you're rewarded. Your monster can eat the cupcakes. Puh. Ah. Puh. So you can turn on and off the cupcakes very simply. You can turn on and off the background music. So basically you can go through and then if you want to add your own list, you can put in whatever you want. So if you wanted them to practice writing their name or certain spelling words or whatever it is that you want to um, teach them, you can go ahead and do that. You can also edit existing lists, which is nice. So that is Touch and Write Phonics. How are we on questions, Miss Liz? No okay. Oh, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, the next one is called Endless Reader, and this is fun. This is um, available for iOS, Google Play, Amazon, and Windows. Um, there is a free version in which you get uh, specific number of words, which I will show you. And then there are in-app purchases and the prices vary. It's easier if I just show you um, because it lists the price according to uh, how many words you want to download. So this is by Originator Kids and this is Endless Reader. Level one. You can choose um, which words you want to work on. So this is level one. Oh, it has different words which I'll Eat. show you. Oh, level, level two. two. Then you start adding different words. Level three. I'll tell you how many you get. More. And there's the prices, just so you can see. I'm going to level one. Level one, because that's where what I have. And I can go through just alphabetically and pick, pick the letters, or Ball. Pick the words. Or Cake. I can go through and I can Dog. Dog. The word I want. <laughs> so with um with this app, you touch the letter. And it makes the letter sound. D to match it. So because dog has the 
the aw for O. Aw, 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 Yoshi thinks it is funny to dress up her dog. Up. Funny, 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 funny. Funny. Dog, 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 dog. Then I can, then I can either press the forward arrow. Eat. To the next thing. E. T. Eat. On, on, on. Three, three, three. Eat, eat, eat. Eat. Grumpkin likes to eat three sardines on his spaghetti. Grumpkin likes to eat three sardines on his spaghetti. So then you can go back and, you know, scroll through and choose. House. Look. So that's Endless Reader. They also have other apps, which are great as well. So early literacy, I have a few I want to show you. The first is the Bob Books app series. And for years, many of you probably know that there were Bob, actually the physical books um, to help teach reading. And the app series uh, basically mimics the books. So there are actually quite a few different Bob apps. So Reading Magic 1 is what I'm going to show you. And there are 12 scenes for a total of 32 words. Very simple. There's Re Reading Magic 2, which adds um, 50 words. And then there's also a sight word app. And then they have added a couple other ones too. Um, so they're available for iOS. And then only Reading Magic 1 and 2 are available in the App Store, the Amazon App Store. Um, I don't know why the sight words one isn't. It's up to the, the store. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the light version just so you can see. So this is the free light version. I wanted to go in and show you um, this area for parents and teachers and, and uh, professionals. This tells you what all the levels do. So, um, for example, letter one, you have to, uh, level one, you have to drag the letter tiles into the correct position to spell a word. You can do the letters in any order and the letter hints are shown. And I'll show you what they look like. And then it gets progressively more difficult. And when you get to level four, they add extra letters and there are no letter hints. So. Um, I'll show you a couple of the letters. What I do like is in settings, you can turn the back background music off, um, the sound effects on and off, and offer hints, and I'll show you what the hints are. You can turn those on and off, and for spelling, you can choose letter names or phonic sounds. For the level, if you go automatic, it will increase as they um, complete a level. 
or if you know that your child is on a specific level, you can go ahead and set, excuse me, you can uh, go ahead and set that level. So it's a very simple interface. So he's moving, so I'm gonna touch him. Matt. So at the bottom, you can see there are letter hints. They've also capitalized the first um, letter because it's a name. Now I can put it in any order at this point. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Matt. Matt sat. Sat. So here, um, I just wanted to show you, you just get three different, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called, three different um, games within it with the light version. And then if you um, upgrade, then it unlocks all of the, the pages. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to show you, let's do level three. Okay, so now we're on level three. Dot. So now level three, I don't have any letter hints, so I have to remember how to spell it. And I also have to go in order. D. Dot. Ah. T. D. Ah. Dot. So the first level you have you can go in any order and you have the letter the letter hints. The second level you have to go in order and you have the letter hints. Hat. This is the third level. Huh. Ah. T. Huh. Ah. T. Hat. Dot has so, and then when you get to the fourth level, cat. We have no letter hints and all kinds of letters. So, k, ah, ah. if I get it wrong, k, just hop, hop mm. out. K, t, k, ah, t, cat. So this app is pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of clutter or distractions, and it's um just really works on the foundational reading skills and the phonics skills. Oops. Okay, so the next um, set of apps, sorry, I wanted to show you are by a company called Ocean House Media. And they are uh, interactive books. And what I like about the Ocean House Media ones, I have two different ones to show you because they're a little bit different, is that they are, uh, many of them are based on our childhood books. So Little Critter, our children's, um, Dr. Seuss, Berenstain Bears. They also have a great Smithsonian's collection, which has dinosaurs and polar bears and different types of animals. Um, they're available pretty widely, iOS, Google Play, Amazon. And um, 
There are a couple that are free. Most of them are between $199 and $599 per title, but they do have bundles available. So like there's a Dr. Seuss bundle and a um, little critter bundle. So I'm gonna show you two. So here's one of the little critter books. Just Lost, written by Gina and Mercer Mayer. Read to me. Read it myself. Autoplay. I'm going to read to me. Mom took us shopping at the mall. There were a jillion critters there. So if you don't anything, it's going to kind of instruct you what to do so it's going to this life. I wanted to push my brother's stroller, but the mall was just too crowded. Mom pushed him instead. So now if I touch different things. Mall. Within the app. Mom. Brother. Critters. Escalator. So depending Critters. On touch. Planter. There was such a big crowd that I could barely see anything. So you can just roll through. Crowd. Or you can touch. Mom. Mouse. In the little critter books, every time you touch the mouse, you hear that noise. With that little prize. Purse. Turtle. Mom. So, hopefully you get the idea from there. Mom said, stay close by me so you won't get lost. When we were right in the middle of the crowd, I noticed that my shoe was untied. I wanted to point out down here, there's a little arrow. And what's nice about this is you can go in again. You can turn on and off the sound effects. If they're distracting, you can turn them off. You can um, have faster page turns, you can do different things, but I really wanna show you here where it says voice. So you can choose narrator or you can choose new. And if you choose new, it gives you- Record a new voice. Enter a name below. It gives you the option to record your own voice. Or if you have a child that's reading, you can have them record their voice and you can work on fluency, which is beautiful. So those are in um, all of the Ocean House Media books. Here's one more Ocean House Media book. It's Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss's ABC. So with this one, there are different... Uh, Find the activities. hidden star on each page to unlock more activities. So each page you're looking for a star. Big A, little A. What begins with A? So I can press the character. Izzy. Hmm. Ooh, found a star. Ichabod. <laughs> a. Aunt Annie's alligator. A, A, A. Rains. Alligator. <laughs> Aunt Annie. Chair. So, same thing. You can go through, touch different things because when you're looking for the stars. Big B, little B. What begins with B? Barber, baby, bubbles, and a bumblebee. And you can touch each. Wings. Bubble. Bubble. Boy. Chair. <laughs> Baby. Barber. And then again, you can choose a specific page if somebody likes a certain letter or likes a certain one. Um, 
And then again, you can turn on and off um, the learning activities, the music and sound and different things. So these are great books um, to work on reading and fluency. And they're also fun. We good on questions? It's a quiet group. Okay, so just some um, early learning concepts. There are so many. I wanted to point out if you don't already know, which I'm sure you do, the Duck Duck Moose apps. These are wonderful. They're by um, Duck Duck Moose. They were purchased by Khan Academy and they are all free. And there are just dozens and dozens of, of different apps. Uh, most of them are preschool to kindergarten, maybe first grade um, age, depending on what they are. And they're uh, all different ones. So um, preschool songs, nursery rhymes, um, different activities. I'm going to show you two different ones, but there are just so many. And they all have humor and different higher levels built in um, for those kids that um, are there or that can benefit from that. And then some of them are just plain fun. So I'm gonna start with the wheel duck, bus. Duck, oh. moose. Sorry, there's a flock in here. So these are really interactive. I'm gonna put the bear. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round oh, yeah. all over town. Do you have to swipe to get it to go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and oh, round, round and round. The um, wheels on the bus go round and round here. all over town. And you can choose. You can record yourself singing in different languages. Las ruedas del bus giran y giran, giran y giran, giran y giran. Las ruedas del bus giran y giran. Die Räder von dem Bus drehen sich rundherum, rundherum, rundherum. Die Räder von dem Bus drehen sich rundherum. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all over town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all over town. So again, it goes through this song and there's just different... The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 record yourself for your child singing. If you just like the background. I was stuck for a minute. That's what was on the bus. Duck, this one is called Fish School. Welcome to Fish School. So with Fish School, it's your basic concepts, letters, numbers, shapes, and colors. Here's alphabet. B. B is for bear. So you can just see. There's always a um, corresponding. C is for cow. Monic. D. D is for duck. At the bottom here, I can change what activity I want to work on. Numbers. One, two, two, 
three. Playtime. Pull the fish and watch it get bigger. I just pick a fish. A baby fish. Hi, I'm a clown. Will you play with a baby fish? Hold a baby fish. Slide. Shapes. Square. And shape. Circle. Oval. The alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A Colors. Touch a fish and watch what happens. Fill with the colors, whichever color fish you touch. Red. They all swim until you touch them up. Bye bye. And then they leave. Green. Bye bye. Red. Bye bye. Cat differences. Find the fish that looks different. Excellent! Fantastic! Matching. Find the matching fish. Letters. A. So just your basic um, preschool concepts. But there are so many different DuckDuckMoose apps, and they're free, so you can download them. And if you, if it's not for you, then you can um, delete it. The next one are the um, set of Monkey Preschool apps. I'm going to show you Monkey Preschool Lunchbox, but they also have a bunch of other great apps. Um, Monkey Math School Sunshine. Uh, there's Word School Adventure. When I grow up. Uh, in these apps, there are multiple languages available, which I love. They're available for iOS, Google, and Amazon. And um, depending on the app, they're either $1.99 or $2.99 each. They do also have um, bundles that you can download. Monkey Preschool Lunchbugs. Go in under language and choose what you want the language to be. Turn the background music on. Monkey off. preschool lunch box. Touch the fruit that starts with the letter Q. And with this one, it just goes through different um, activities, just um, randomly by chance. So you're going to touch the fruit that starts with the letter Q. And if you're not sure. Q! Quince! <laughs> you did it! Oh no, this monkey's banana broke into pieces. Can you put it back together? <laughs> so great fine motor. <laughs> great work! <laughs> touch the heart. If you get it wrong. Hexagon! I'll tell you no. Heart. You did it! Pick a sticker! After you've done a couple activities, you get to collect stickers. Touch all the yellow fruit. Yellow. Yellow. You did it! This monkey wants eight cherries. So I'm just going to touch one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight cherries. Way to go! <laughs> this monkey wants two of each kind of fruit. Orange. Can you match the fruit? Orange. <laughs> Cherry. Raspberry. Oh, oh. Cherry. Cherry. <laughs> Watermelon. Raspberry. Oh, oh. Raspberry. Raspberry. <laughs> Watermelon. Watermelon. Way to go! <laughs> Pick a sticker. Now I get another sticker. One of these fruits is not the same. Touch the one that's different. Super cool. Touch the fruit that starts with the letter N. If I don't know. P. Pineapple. 
It'll tell you. R. Oh, raspberry. N. Nectarine. Great job. <laughs> this monkey only wants the smallest fruit. Touch the smallest fruit. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> Pick a sticker. <laughs> this monkey wants two. I'm going to go out of that one just in the interest of time. But um, the monkey preschool apps are all, they all have that cute little monkey and um, they have just a mixture of activities that are fun and their rewards are fun too. Okay, this next one, one, two, three, genius. It's a long name. One, two, three, genius, first numbers and counting game for kids. Um I like this one because it comes with a bunch of different interactive games. Um, like toddler to kindergarten. Um, and it is only available on iOS. Uh, there's a free version or $1.99 in-app purchase to get rid of the app, uh, ads and add all of the activities. With the free version, you only get a couple of the activities. I want to say the first, the first three. So with one, two, three genius, you can go through you can go through. Here's all the activities. So let's start at the beginning. How many sheep do you see? And we're just gonna to touch them. One, two, three. Awesome. Count the carrots. And you can go in any order you One, want. One, two, three, four. You did it. How many robots do you see? And it's going to increase. Um, this one, one counts finger. fingers. One. Awesome. Two fingers. I'm going to touch each. One, finger. two. You did it. Three fingers. We're working on that one. One, one. Two. Three. Good work. Four fingers. So it goes up progressively. This one is matching. Draw a line to match each number to the correct number of ladybugs. Fantastic. Draw a line to match each number to the correct number of butterflies. So I can touch the objects. If I want to count them. You did it! Draw a line to match each number to the correct number of a So, um, numbers 1 to 10. 1. You're just trying to Good work. the number. Two. From a field of three or four. You did it! Three. Awesome. Four. They start out in order. Good work. Five. Awesome. Six. And then they throw other numbers in. The tracing game is just One. tracing. Good work. Two. In your numbers, you could also use your stylus to do that. Great job. Three. And I can count. One, two, three. Fantastic. Um, there's a bunch of games, but there's a treasure hunt. There's counting to 20, more or less. There's the pizza game. Select the pizza with one slice. You did it. Select the pizza with two slices. Awesome. Select the pizza with more slices. So there's, you know, more or less, there's a uh, counting up to 20. Treasure hunt is... Find one dog. One. Fantastic. Find one bird. One. You did it. Find one cat. One. Good work. Find one fish. So that's one, two, three, genius. Nice early math.
This app I literally could spend all day on. This is Khan Academy Kids. It's a free app and they have so many levels and so many activities um, in this one app. It's, app. it's amazing. And it's available on iOS, Google Play and Amazon. And all the Khan Academy apps are free, but they're, um, well, I'll just show you. There's so much to it. Khan Academy Kids. So the first time you log in, they do ask you to create an account. It's absolutely free. I have some um, kids in here, um, just with different levels, but I wanted to walk you through. You can put in your child's name. You can choose the age anywhere from two to eight plus. Since we're doing preschool, all the four. Pick a little avatar, depending on what you want. It changes with the seasons. It's so cute. This is, of course, now it's winter. So I can either go into the house. Hi, I'm Cody. This is the kids club. Let's go play with our friends. This is Sandy. Tap her. Hi. Next is Olo. Tap him. Oh, hi there. Oh no! Where did Peck go? Can you find him and drink? Yippee! And this is Rhea. Hello! Move our friends to play with them. Tap the green button next to me when you're done. So I can go through the activities as they take me through, or I can go up here to the library. And with the library, the amount of activities is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so right now I'm just under books and here are all the categories. So we have winter, stories with lessons, different, different grade readers. Feelings. Stormy and Scary by Cynthia Pl Sandy was in her favorite place in the world, the music room, but it was a dark and stormy day, which Sandy did not like. She was scared of storms. Sandy jumped at the sound of thunder. Then she listened closer. The thunder sounds like my drums, she said. So Sandy played her drums until she couldn't hear the thunder anymore. I just wanted to give you an idea of the quality of the books. So these are all books. Here's stories with people, nice lessons, really great illustrations. Why is our skin different colors by Naomi O'Brien. Again, you can do read to me or read myself. Animals. This is just under books. There's a ton. Try not to make you all seasick, but there's a ton. Um, there are also videos, video lessons. Of course, there's our, the songs that all the kids know Baby Shark, Apples and Bananas, They're Happy and You Knew It. There's things you can do to create. There's offline activities. You're working on letters. There's letters tracing, dragging, lowercase, uppercase, and they're all just. This is the letter H. This is the lowercase H. H makes the sound. Like in the word horse. 
<laughs> this is my favorite part. H as in horse. Drag the letter H to the rabbit. <gasps> Woohoo! <gasps> Woohoo! So just cute little activities that go with each. <gasps> Woohoo! Each thing. There's so much. So anyway. Those are all letter activities. Letter sounds, ending sounds, beginning sounds, consonant, vowel, consonant words. Practicing writing letters. Reading. So those were books. Now this is teaching reading. So there's syllables, sounds, words, spelling. And I can go right here to my drop down and choose what age I want to target. And if I change it, the activity will change. There are words everywhere. I love going on word hunts. Will you join me? Let's see what we can find. Aha! There's one. Milk. There's another one. Exit. Hey, there's another. That says stop. And play. Let's go join my friends. Some things have words on them. But other things don't have any words. They are pictures or symbols. Drag all the things with words to Raya. Yay! You dragged the things with words to Raya. Drag all the things with words back home. So that's reading. There's also math. Again, it changes depending on, whoops, depending on what level. So second grade has, you know, word problems and things like that. Whereas our younger guys may have patterns of numbers. Just so many activities. And, it's great. and then the logic games are great too. So big and small, sorting, um, memory. Let's play a memory game. Remember this order. Bell. Boot. Candy. Ribbon. Tap the four things in order. Bell. Boot. Can't. Ribbon. Good job. What comes after the bell? Drag them to the boxes. Boot. Candy. Ribbon. Good thinking. Let's do another one. So, um, focus, memory, flexible thinking, social, emotional development. There's activities for that. Physical, healthy habits. So there's just all kinds of stuff in this one app. And again, you can have you can have different kids set up at, at, with their different ages and they could just go in and choose and it's all free so that's Khan Academy Kids so I'm just going to show you a couple of pre-writing and fine motor apps and then we'll be done but there are so many games and um, things out there that work on fine motor without even um, thinking about it 
uh, so many games. So if you're looking for things outside the box, just let us know and we can um, help you with ideas. But these are specifically for pre-writing and fine motor skills. The first one is called Ready to Print. And it was created by an occupational therapist. And what I like about it is there are customizable activities depending on your students' um, abilities and strengths. Uh, it's for, I, I don't understand the pricing, but for iOS, it's $9.99. For Google Play and Amazon, it's $7.99. So I'll go into ready to print. Ready to print, choose an activity. So these are all activities that go in order. Don't think I have a user register. Maybe I do. Choose an activity. There are settings, but you have to have um, a user, and I just put her in this morning, so I haven't done anything uh, with it yet. But you can really customize um, each activity. Touch. Select starting level, then tap Go below. So we're working on those fine motor and pre-writing skills. So go touch each caterpillar. We're just starting with touch. I'm just gonna focus and touch each thing. Next, touch each caterpillar. So there are a bunch of different- Back. select starting Listen. clouds. Apples that you can press on. Peanut butter. Back. You okay? Choose an activity. So after touch comes order, order touch. touch. Select starting level, then popcorn. Go. Touch the popcorn kernels. So you touch the ones that are highlighted. In order. Next. Touch each sun. So I'm trying to touch the other ones and it just won't let me. Back. Select After starting order, back. Touch. Okay. Choose an activity. There's a touch. Touch there. and drag. Select direction. Then tap go below. Since we're in the swipe generation and most of our kiddos are used to using an iPad or a tablet, um, some kiddos don't have that, those dragging, clicking and dragging skills. And this does um, help learn those touch and drag skills. So you can just do down, up, right, or left. Or all directions. All directions. Put the apples in the basket. So it's just that holding and dragging. Just teaching that holding and dragging skill. Put the socks in the drawer. And it'll go with different directions. Back. On. Select direct. Back. Choose an activity. Um, the next one is matching. Pretty straightforward. You're matching the solid to the outline. There is path. path. Select starting level. Then tap go below. Go. Start at the bunny and draw a line inside the path to the carrot. Now within the settings you can choose um how tight you want it to be like if you want them to have to stay totally within the line if you're really working on that fine motor start at the bread and draw have, a line inside the path to the toaster if you have some someone that really struggle struggles struggles with those um motor skills you can set it so they don't quite have to we're just trying to get that pattern. So it's totally up to you, depending on. Next, um, start who you're at the bunny with. and draw a line inside the path to the carrot. Back. Select starting back. So that's following okay. that path. Choose an activity. This The next one is tracing shapes. This is connecting the dots. Connect the dots. Select starting level, cross. Go follow the arrows and connect the dots to make a cross. 
Now draw it without the it dots. Yourself. Next, follow the arrows and connect the dots to make a diagonal line. Select starting back. Okay. Get an idea of Choose an activity. This one works on pinching. pinching. Select the number of times to repeat. Use your thumb and finger to pinch the two items together. Right outside my window. So you're going to use that thumb and finger to pinch the two items together. And you can set the distance. So if you have a very small child, you can set the distance between their um, thumb and finger so that they don't have to overextend or overreach. You can make it so they're closer together while they work on that. You did it. Okay. Select the number of times to read back. Choose an difficult. activity. After that, you have practice tracing numbers and letters. And then there's just uh, one where you can just draw. So that's ready to print. Um, it's It works very well because it was designed by an OT and does go through all the steps to get to, to writing. The last one today is called Dexteria Junior. And it is a set of uh, hand exercises that help improve those fine motor skills. It is available for iOS only and it's $4.99. There are three different activities. Uh, for older students, there's also Dexteria, but this one is designed for younger students. So Dexteria Junior works on preschool motor skills. So squish the squash. You can pick how many squash you want to squish, and it's literally just touching them. Since they're moving, you have to catch them. So that fine motor eye coordination. Nice going. Washes you squished. The second one is trace and erase, and there's all different levels. Um, you know, straight lines all the way to big patterns. But it, drag the arrow to the star. Again, we can use our stylus. Working on those pre-writing skills. This would be really good practice for letter and number formation. Drag the eraser to erase the lines. And then you go back and erase the lines that you drew. So you're practicing again. Keep up the good work. Sort of like handwriting without tears. And then it'll take a picture of what you did. If you so and they get progressively more difficult draw a line from the green dot to the star so like this one you have to get And then and the erasing. So that's the trace and erase. And then finally, pinch the pepper is the. Using your thumb and index finger, pinch the pepper. Similar to the other activity we saw in the other one. Pinch it. Pinch the pepper. And then it gets increasing pains. Pepper. I just wanted to give you an idea of each activity. Oh, I should have disabled the camera. If you um, have the camera enabled, you can, as they've done the trace and erase, you can take a picture so that they can see how they did. Um, or you can disable the camera and it won't ask you to do that. 
So that's Dexteria Junior by Binary Labs. Again, we have so many apps. If you have specifics you're looking for, please feel free to email us um, and we'll be glad to help you out. If you wouldn't mind filling out your evaluation, um, hopefully Liz will put it in the chat or she probably already has knowing Elizabeth, she's awesome. Um, there will be questions on there that don't apply to our app trainings. Just go ahead and mark NA on those. Uh, if it's easier to use your phone, we have a QR code here for you. And once again, if you have any kind of questions, you want something specific for your child, client, yourself, whatever you need, please feel free to reach out to myself. I'm Laura. And then there's Elizabeth, our AT coordinator, and we can help you individually. And Liz, did you want to tell them about the handouts in case they came late? Yeah. 